smallest object you see in the world, and it can be found in Southeast Asia. Train and and today, oh the Jara will like to demonstrate to you how an object can be created. Here, the Jara, what do you have here? So, the Jara will be holding her rubber fish, and what will you do with it? So, the Jara will throw the rubber fish in the water, and then see if the object can catch it. So, the Jara has made it throw. And the object is searching for the fish. She is navigating the movement of the fish using her long whiskers, and she grabs the fish in her mouth while turning back towards us. Now let's see if the object will be able to give the fish back to Mr. Charo. And she's coming back towards us. And she gives it back to Mr. Charo. Isn't that smart? Now because of how small an object is that catching fish, the children have used this traditional technique since centuries ago. And that's about it for us. Long for it after. Let's go. Tortilla. And thank you. All right. Now that for studying a hybrid animal, now moving on, I'd like to introduce you to a pair of mammals. And this pair of mammals can look into a really bad odor. Introducing our pair of snakes. Because they are 
cannot be eaten and will eat any harmful insects for the salmon. Yeah. And that's it for our group of guinea fowl. Let's do a big class star. I am Abby Abby. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to one more mammal species. And this mammal species can protect itself using its own body. Introducing our Malayan porcupine. Three fly pigeons. This is a piece. Love, harmony, and 